I'm here with one more Portuguese starter, entrepreneur. Please, Bruno, introduce yourself. What are you doing and what's your personal background? Uh, hello, my name is Bruno Pedro. Uh, I'm the founder of a startup called uh, Tarpipe. Uh, Tarpipe is a social media publishing platform and uh, I've been working on this for uh, since um, uh, last February. Uh, my personal background is on uh, web development. Uh, I've been doing it for, um, I could say, for about 15 years now. And uh, I also had another company back in the in the late 90s. And uh, I'm doing doing it again now with a with a with another startup. So. Is it uh, right that you are some sort of one of the first movers here in Portugal related to internet and everything? Uh, well, I don't know what your sources are. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say that there are many different people. Uh, right now uh, uh, we are witnessing um, developments of, of more startups, which is uh, a good sign for, for, for the whole ecosystem. Uh, it wasn't like this all the time, and uh, back in the in the late 90s and mid mid 90s, late 90s, there weren't so many websites around. And uh, what you can say, I was one of one of the, the the people that had a company, and we we had an auction site back then. So that that's what we did at that time. I heard already through other interviews that it's yeah the Portuguese startup scene is quite difficult still, but there are not so many people starting up because well, of uh, cultural reasons and uh, the situation and everything. Um, and I heard also that uh, you are one of the little founders who got international investment, international funding. How could you reach that? Uh, what are you doing different than the others? Mm. Uh, actually, we haven't got the investment yet uh, and I prefer not to talk too much about the, the, the details of that. Uh, hopefully I will announce it publicly very soon but not right, right, not right yet. Uh, the main thing in, in, in I can talk a little bit about the, the funding and investment. Actually we were just talking with someone else about that just minutes ago. Uh, the whole thing about investment in Portugal is that Portugal is a um, uh, is a country where the investment in technology is not so uh, mainstream as, for instance, in, in, Sp in Spain or Germany or France or somewhere else. Here in Portugal, the investors prefer more conservative uh, investment uh, opportunities like real estate and something like that. So it gets very difficult to, to approach an investor with a startup, with a technology startup idea. Mm, even worse if it's a web 2.0 or something like that, because they don't, they simply don't understand. Uh, so we, I tried a lot for a lot of months uh, with different contacts, and uh, fortunately, I, one of one of the those contacts got interested in outside of Portugal, and things are moving from from there and uh, it's almost the deal is almost done but yeah. I don't like to talk about yeah, things yeah, that's no, that, right yeah. completely. so let's focus again on your company you're doing right now uh, tell me more about it what can I do where as a user okay uh, there, there is a there is a problem that we we, we saw at uh, one year ago uh, that is directly related to the, the number of different services that exist on the web. As more services exist, like um, Twitter, and uh, if, if you remember one year ago, there was like Twitter and Pounce and maybe one or two more. Now there are like seven or eight or, or nine, right? So you as a user uh, will have more difficulties trying to choose which service to use. And if you listen now to media mar marketeers, they will tell you one thing, use them all, right? So you cannot just choose one or two, you have, you have to be everywhere, because people will, you will lose people if you're not everywhere. So one of the things we, we're offering the end user is the possibility to publish to everywhere, meaning that 
you can with one single action you can write once and then publish to everywhere. Not only that, but do uh, complex posts, like posts containing pictures and text, and we extract the pictures and send them to Flickr or Photobucket or Picasa, and extract the text and send it to Twitter or your blog, and then put everything together automatically. Yeah, sounds interesting. So, um, in which kind of mode are you right now? Which stage is your company? Okay, the the company is, for the reasons that I just told you before, the company is actually legally being created. Uh, we are uh, in, the, in the process of launching an open beta, uh, not right now, but real, real soon. Uh, we have been in a closed beta. Uh, we, we thought that we, we should open it with a developer preview so that we could attract developers and uh, let them use the platform before everyone else. And uh, it worked really well until now and uh, uh, we have a lot of applications developed by outside developers. People started developing applications and using them. And now we think it's the time to, to, to open to everyone. So uh, in, about, in about a week, uh, we we open a public beta, so anyone can go there and register, sign up, and yeah. just start using. Looking uh, on the competition, uh, who are your main competitors? Uh, if you asked me that uh, six months ago, I would I would have some difficulties, but now it's very easy. I can tell like uh, Ping.fm, uh, which is a site that uh, you publish uh, once text and it will send to your text to different places. Uh, there are many like Ping FM. For pictures, only for pictures, there is another one called Pixel Pipe. Uh, and uh, basically, it's 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 those uh, Ping FM, Social Thing, Pixel Pipe. So those so are. there's still enough space for you. Yeah, we think so. Our our our, our proposition is not not only the publish. Uh, right ones publish too many, but also the complex publishing where you can send pictures and videos and audio and so on and then put everything in its place. So what's your vision for the future? For the future of... of oh, okay. Uh, one of the things that uh, we, we want to do is um, uh, move into a much... Um, into a very easy to use web interface. Uh, that's one of, one of the one of the possibilities. Uh, another possibility that we are pursuing since the beginning is move into devices like uh, mobile phones. We can take a picture from your mobile phone and so on, and other other kinds of uh, of um, ways of interacting like voice calls, SMSs, video calls, and so on and so on.